Hi everyone, are you struggling to get stronger weighted pull-ups? Well, there is no doubt in my mind that if you follow the tips and the program I lay out in this video, your weighted pull-up will substantially increase. That is a promise. Also, make sure to watch till the end because I present my most valuable tip that I wish I knew before I got heavily into weighted pull-ups. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So to get started, we're gonna make sure your form is right and that we are set up correctly. Also, this video is for my more intermediate to advanced trainees as weighted pull-ups are a more intermediate to advanced exercise. Because if you can't do 10 to 15 regular pull-ups, you shouldn't even bother with weighted pull-ups yet. So when I do my weighted pull-ups, I feel as if a belt with a chain is the best way to load it. I feel this way because it's really easy to load the plates. You just attach the plates to the chain and then attach it back onto your waist. And also the position of where the plates or the weight is going to be isn't awkward or anything, unlike if you were to have like a weighted vest or something. And I feel like it's just the universal way to do weighted pull-ups. Everyone agrees you use a belt and a chain. Also, a big part of weighted pull-ups is having good grip strength. And to assist with that, I recommend using either liquid chalk or dusty chalk. So for me, I know going into a session, if I have strong grip, my weighted pull that day is going to be strong. And I feel that chalk is just a really nice tool to have. So the strongest grip is shoulder width apart and it's just a basic pull up. You don't want to change your form. You want to pull exactly as you would a normal pull up. And simple tips like to keep your elbows in and to not flare them. And of course the shoulder width apart are still valid for both weighted pull ups and normal pull ups. Now we'll get into a few tips. Tip number one, implementing pause and explosive reps into your training. So these two explosive and pause reps help build strength around common weak points, especially the pause reps. Most people fail around this last 15 degree motion and the pause reps especially will help strengthen that. Explosive pulls teach you how to be more explosive out of the bottom and have helped me a ton with initiating the pull and getting stronger in that first 15 degrees of the lift. So generally being more explosive and just completing the rep faster will lead to more strength gain. This is because the body adapts to how it trains. If you do the rep faster, it's going to get stronger and better at doing the rep faster. So a key takeaway is to try to do all the reps with speed and explosivity. Even when warming up, try to be as explosive as possible. That will lead into your top set and that will make you stronger for your working weight. And then pause reps and isometrics help build lockout strength. And also it just doesn't help with the lockout. It does radiate strength in about 15 to 30 degrees in either side. So you're gonna be stronger higher up and you're still gonna be stronger lower around this degree. It won't just be if, when you're pausing around here. And as with doing pause reps on any lift, it helps reinforce your form reinforce your tightness and build strength in a unique way compared to just doing normal reps. So especially if the lockout is an issue for you, which it probably will be, pause reps especially are an amazing tool you can start implementing. Tip number two, have correct form and do not compromise it. I want you to do the correct form for pull-ups. And more importantly, when the weight gets heavier, what I see a lot of people do is they compromise their form and they allow their form to go down the gutter. At that point, I want you to stop doing it, either lower the weight or just lower the reps. It's very important to not compromise your form, especially in the pursuit of adding more weight and lifting heavier loads. Also, everything you learnt for regular pull-ups, I want you to use for normal weighted pull-ups. Don't treat it like it's a completely different movement just because you have extra weight. I want you to do all the simple stuff like no half repping, don't bounce out of the hole, start from a dead hang, and that full range is very important here. Also, try not to kip and use momentum. So what I'm sometimes guilty of when the weight gets heavier is I use momentum. I like to, as soon as I'm going up halfway, I kick with my legs to get a little bit of extra momentum just to finish that rep. And I just want you to try not to do that as I do it, but just try not to. And tip number three, my most valuable tip, train all grips. So what I want you to do is start rotating in and training each different grip. So I want you to do neutral, normal pull-ups, chin-ups, ultra wide, ring pull-ups. So what this does is it helps keeping the strength gains coming in as the body is 
adapting to a slightly different stimulus each time. So when you do pull-ups, just normal grip for months on end, the body will adapt to it. But if you change it up slightly, just with a grip change, that can allow for more adaptations and more muscle building. And of course, getting stronger. It's also a fantastic way to address weak points while still getting stronger. It also helps prevent overuse injuries, which means you can train harder for a longer period of time. And being injured just sucks, so we should try to do everything to avoid it. It's also a fantastic way to get rid of muscular weaknesses. So basically implement pause and explosive reps, do the correct form and don't compromise on it, and make sure to train all the different grip styles. So I'm now going to share with you the best program that I've found to build weighted pull-up strength. So basically what this program is, you wanna pick a weight you can do for five, six reps. Say, we'll use 20 kilos as an example. You'll do a three by three with that 20 kilos. Then the next session, you wanna do four sets of three with the same weight, and then five sets of three with the same weight. Now this is where it changes. The same, you want to keep with the same weight, but now you'll be lowering the sets back down to three, but you'll be increasing the reps by one. So what that looks like is three by four, four by four, five by four. And then you'll lower it again, back down to three sets. But again, you increase the reps by one. So now it's three by five with that same 20 kilo weight. Then you'll do four by five with 20 kilos. And then by the end of it, you'll be doing a five by five with 20 kilos. So you will have gone from a three by three with 20 kilos to a five by five by the end of it. And here are a few things I do to make it a lot easier and actually doable. So I'd recommend doing this twice or three times a week. That's probably the sweet range. You just wanna pick one of those two. An example of what you could do is train Monday, Thursday, or if you wanna do three times a week, you wanna do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Also, when running this program, make sure to cut down a lot on your other back volume so that it doesn't interfere with your pull-up training. Like the goal is to get stronger weighted pull-ups, not on your barbell rows, for example. And this is very taxing on your back and will put a lot of focus onto your pull-ups and is a great way to strengthen them. So if you feel like you got any value, please like and sub, it helps me out a lot. And thanks very much for watching. Later guys.